Hello guys, these are 5 small tips on how to make better renders on Lumia in under 4 minutes. Number 1. Planner Reflections Let's suppose on our project we have windows, when every piece of the window, the glass is arranged in this way, where they are not on the same plane. We start by using planner reflection and we put one planner reflection on the window. But that is not enough, so we put two more to make the effect correct so the whole window can reflect what's on the other side. By doing this we are using three planner reflections on one window. And let's suppose we have multiple windows on the project. Ten planner reflections which Lumia provides you are not enough then. So what we can do about this? Well, we have to play around with one more setting which you can probably miss or even not know about it, which is plane margins, which allows you to increase the width of the plane reflections so you can connect all the windows on different planes with the same one. But you should be careful, because when we place like this our pla reflection planes, they are going to create a gap in here. So the solution for this problem is to place the reflection planes on the most outer part of the window, not on the inner part. If we do it on the inner part, the gap is gonna be even more visible. So we should do it on the outer part. And the problem will not be visible anymore. Doing the reflection planes like this will help with the performance of your computer since Lumion will only have to calculate one reflection plane for multiple windows. Also, we will have enough reflection planes to use on our project to cover all the windows we need if we have a lot of windows. Number 2. Another feature which you might have missed on Lumion is character billboards, which you can find on utilities. Sometimes it might be better to use character billboards to populate your scene, especially for renders, than using the 3D models which Lumion provides, since the character billboards are real photos of people cutouts, and of course the quality of a photo is much better than the 3D people which Lumion provides. Placing these billboards, they will always face the camera and they all also will have their own shadow. You can replace the character billboards here on the right. Number 3. When you add car to your scene, don't forget to add their license plate. You can find it on the right here and you can choose from different locations. Having multiple cars in your scene without license plates will look bad and it will draw attention to it since we are used to always see a license plate on a car. Number 4. Let's suppose we need a wall with ivy or leaves. If we use two planes like this, the result is not gonna be that great. There's gonna be a lot of holes between leaves. To fix this, we have to add more details to our planes by dividing the polygons so those holes won't be visible anymore and the density of the leaves will be bigger. The result is much better. But if we need even more denser leaves, we can add a second plane by duplicating it on the back and giving the same material. Or we can also change the size of the leaf to make more variation. Number 5. If you wanna make a better grass, it might be better to use three planes. Using just the 3D grass or the terrain grass, it might look pretty boring. On the lower layer, add the terrain grass. On the first layer, add the soil textures of your choice. And on the middle layer, add the 3D grass. You can add dead alliance flowers and rocks to the terrain grass to make a better variety. You can play around also with the 3D grass parameters to make it look much more better. And this is the final result of the three layers together. 